half kneeling hip flexor asymmetrics. Getting started with this, very, very simple. We want a 90 degree angle between our, in our front leg, between our foot, our knee and our hip, and the same in our back leg, foot, knee, hip. Now, to get this move correct, I want you to visualize and imagine that you've got a piece of string attached to your hip and you're pulling that hip all the way through. Now notice that we don't drop forward to get this stretch, although we can push forward to progress it. We initially want to imagine that tilting of the pelvis or the pulling of the hips through with a piece of string. Once you've got this correct, your glute should be firing like crazy and your abs should also be firing. Tilt and then we can go. We can go. Now when you get this correct, a crazy stretch will come, it can come from the very, very lower quad right up into the hip flexor. What I've had the habit of finding, not even a habit of finding, but what most people tend to experience with poor quad mobility is that if they have really, really tight hips, they will initially feel that stretch at the lower quad. As the mobility improves, you can find it come right up into the hip flexor. Tilting of the pelvis, be pulling forward of the hips, or think about bringing your belt buckle to your belly button, closing those abs down as we tilt that pelvis. Half kneeling hip flexor asymmetric. <laughs> 